Hey y'all. Today's frittata recipe adds a depth of flavor by roasting the veggies before using them in the frittata. One of my favorite things about frittatas is actually how well they heat up later. I don't often like to eat eggs for leftovers, but frittatas are definitely the exception. Let's cook. First thing, heat the oven to 425 and line a baking sheet in foil. Spread the eggplant and tomatoes out on the baking sheet, drizzle with olive oil, and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Roast the veggies in the oven for 20 minutes. While the veggies are roasting, heat an oven-proof pan over a medium to low flame. You'll use that same pan for the final frittata too, so make sure it can go in the oven. Cook the bacon until it begins to crisp, about five minutes. Not fully cooked, just begins to crisp. Once the bacon is done, turn off the flame and then turn the broiler on. In a medium bowl, add a little salt and pepper to your whisked eggs. Once the veggies are done roasting, add them and the bacon to the eggs. Stir everything together to mix. Don't just pour the bacon in the bowl though. You wanna keep the bacon fat in the pan. Then you're gonna actually reheat the bacon fat in that pan over a medium low heat. Make sure that the pan is completely coated in bacon fat by rolling it around. You can also use a little olive oil if the bacon didn't produce enough fat. Then pour in the egg mixture, making sure the veggies are evenly spread out. That actually helps it cook evenly. Then you cook it for five to eight minutes, maybe a little longer if needed, until the edges are firm, but the middle is still jiggly. Move the skillet under the broiler and cook for another one to three minutes until the eggs are set on top. Watch it very closely to make sure it doesn't burn. The broiler is no joke and you can burn things really quickly using it. After the eggs are set, cool the frittata for at least a few minutes before cutting. Plate up and dig in. 